Hello everyone, in this episode of our Chrome Music Lab series, where we explore the wonderful world of music and science, we're going to see what sound actually looks like. Let's open our browser, go to Chrome Music Lab, and enter the Experiments page. On the main page, we'll scroll down a bit to find our experiment for today, Sound Waves, and click on it. In front of us, we see thousands of blue dots connected to a piano. These represent air molecules. When we press a piano key, we can clearly see how the sound pushes and pulls these molecules creating a wave. If we click the magnifying glass icon on the bottom right, we can track the back and forth movement of a single molecule with a red line. We can track the back and forth movement of a single molecule with a red line. Now, let's play a simple scale on the piano. You can see that each note creates a different vibration, meaning a different sound wave. Low notes, low frequency, cause the molecules to move slower and over a wider range, while high notes, high frequency, make the molecules vibrate much faster and more tightly. When we look with the magnifying glass, we can see how frequently the red line oscillates for high notes, and how slowly and widely it moves for low notes. This is the relationship between pitch and frequency. With this tool, you can observe not only single notes, but also the complex wave patterns created by playing multiple notes at once. You can discover how sound transforms into a visual harmony by playing your own little melodies. And there you have it. The Sound Waves experiment shows us the invisible world of sound in an incredibly simple and understandable way. You can visit Chrome Music Lab to try this and many other amazing tools for yourself. If you enjoyed this fun experiment and would like to see more interactive content like this to give you new insights, check out what else we have on our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get notifications for new videos. See you again soon and thanks for watching.